do you regret going into the Kiki Camarena case at all? You destroyed me, yes. Yeah, that just cut right off. Are you sure? Are you sure it's cool? Are you sure it's cool to to do this on the phone? Yeah. You want me to fly out there or what? You know, Hector, I think we should fly out here. I don't think we should be talking about this on the phone. I agree with you. I'm gonna try to get a flight out as soon as possible. Okay. All right. I'll talk to you later when you make arrangements. I, don't I know it's really last minute, but we have to do this right. Before I took over the Camarena case, I was the highest decorated DEA agent in the agency. And I was a shooting star. And my star crashed when I took over the Camarena murder case. Not because I didn't do my job, it's because I did my job too well. And I found out things that I wasn't supposed to expose or find out. Are you afraid of your government right now? Uh, yes, I am very, very afraid of my government because I know the power that they have. What is that power? The power to eliminate anybody that gets in their way. I've been part of that power. I have killed for this government and I have killed more than once for this government of mine. In a war that I no longer believe in, in a war that they sent me to fight when they were also the enemy in this drug war. In the beginning, I thought that our government was as clean as the driven snow, as white as the driven snow. I thought there was no corruption in our government. Yes, I heard and I knew that other governments were corrupt, but I really didn't believe that our government was as corrupted as I later found out it is. I realized that our own government was involved in poisoning our youth with drugs, that our government was involved in drug trafficking, and that they would not care one bit about poisoning our youth or anybody uh, to gain whatever objectives they needed to obtain. They say that with, with knowledge, you gain power. In my case, knowledge became my liability. Sometimes I wish that I didn't know all of this, but now that I know it, I feel compelled to, to tell the truth and bring it all out. Is that a good answer? Yeah, it's pretty darn good. I guess we're gonna start from the beginning, okay? So a lot of people want to know your story on how you started, okay? My full name is Hector Gonzalez Bereas. From the um, Arizona Department of Public Safety, I went to work for the Bureau of Narcotics and Dangerous Drugs. I went to the academy, and while I was going to the academy, the BNDD was transformed by President Richard Nixon into the DEA, the Drug Enforcement Administration. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to summarize for you the meeting that I have just had with the bipartisan leaders, which began at 8 o'clock and was completed two hours later. America's public enemy number one in the United States is drug abuse. In order to fight and defeat this enemy, it is necessary to wage a new all-out offensive. With regard to this offensive, uh, it is necessary first to have a new organization. I started there at the age of uh, 26 and retired from the DEA at the age of 50. I had a long career with the DEA. I worked in numerous countries to include in Colombia, where I worked undercover into the um, Cali and Medellin cartels. I was also assigned to Mexico, where I worked undercover into the notorious Guadalajara drug cartel. 
the Guadalajara Cartel, formed in 1980. The Guadalajara Cartel consists of three main players. The founders are Miguel Angel Felix Gallardo, known as El Pedrino, or the Godfather. Rafael Caro Quintero, known as the Narco of Narcos, or Don Rafa. Ernesto Fonseca Carrillo. These are the three main founders of the Guadalajara cartel that reigned in 1980 to 1989. The DEA, during the DEA, we became a very aggressive agency. One of my first assignments was uh, to work in Colombia, South America. One of the things that I remember as a young agent was asking, what, what is it like, before I went undercover, what is it like to go undercover and mingle and, and mix with these very dangerous drug lords? And I remember a senior agent telling me, Hector, it's like this. You are a German shepherd. You know German shepherds are wolves, right? And I said, yes, I know, but they're domesticated wolves. Well, you are a domesticated wolf that is now going to be set loose to mingle with real wolves. And even though you're domesticated, you're gonna to have to act like a real wolf. So just remember the analogy that I'm giving, that I'm giving you. When you're undercover, you're no longer a domesticated wolf. You have to act like a real criminal wolf. 